How to set up Singa Business Hyperdrive We recommend using a Hyperdrive USB-C hub with the newer model iPads without an audio jack. There are different Hyperdrive hubs depending on your needs. We are using a Hyperdrive 9-in-1 USB-C hub as an example. It's important that the Hyperdrive USB-C hub has both an HDMI port and a 3.5mm audio jack. First, connect the Hyperdrive hub to your iPad's charging port. Then, connect the HDMI cable to the Hyperdrive HDMI port and then connect the other end to the monitor or the TV. Now you're all set with the video and it's time to connect your audio. First, connect your Hyperdrive to the mixer. You'll need an RCA to 3.5mm audio jack cable for this. Connect the RCA end to the mixer like this and then connect the 3.5mm audio jack to the Hyperdrive hub. You can now connect the speakers and microphones and that's it, you're all set. Apple Lightning Digital AV Adapter For older model iPads that have a 3.5mm audio jack and the traditional lightning charging port, we recommend you use an Apple Lightning Digital AV Adapter. To connect Singa Pro with an Apple Lightning Digital AV Adapter, first connect the adapter to the iPad as well as the lightning charging cable. Then connect the HDMI cable to your monitor or TV and connect the other end to your Apple Lightning Digital AV Adapter. Now you're all set with the video. To connect the audio, you'll need an RCA to 3.5mm audio jack cable. Connect the RCA end to the mixer like this and then connect the 3.5mm audio jack to the iPad. You can now connect the speakers and microphones to the mixer. We recommend using an HDMI audio extractor to ensure that you don't have to unplug your audio jack whenever you start using the iPad again. For further information, check out our help center or contact our customer support.